President Joe Biden arrived here at the VA Medical Center in Salt Lake City this morning. He spoke to veterans and the nation about the importance of the PACT Act honoring its one year anniversary. Come hell or high water and compensate these veterans and their families who have suffered. Those attending the president's remarks included elected officials, community leaders, veterans, survivors, and their families. So we have many obligations as a nation. We only have one truly sacred obligation, and that's to equip those we send into harm's way and care for them and their families when they come home and when they don't. Biden said he met that sacred obligation when the PACT Act was signed. Utah Governor Spencer Cox spoke prior to the president's remarks. Cox commented on discussions about whether Biden's reception in a predominantly red state would be welcoming. I think it's insane that we are having those conversations in our country today. Cox promoted healthy discussion over ideological differences instead of animosity. Certainly there is one thing that we all unequivocally agree on, and that is a deep admiration and gratitude for the veterans among us. Biden was emotional as he described his personal connection to the PACT Act. It's, uh, it's personal for my family, but it's also personal for so many of you. Biden's son, a veteran of the Iraq War, died of brain cancer in 2015. Biden attributes his son's cancer to exposure to burn pits. They're the size of football fields, and everything you can imagine is thrown into these pits. Army veteran Terry Scow is grateful for Biden's work with the PACT Act. The fact that he cares about veterans, the fact uh, that he is willing to listen, I advocated to him that the VA needs more employees. Biden announced that more than 340,000 veteran survivors are already benefiting from the PACT Act, including more than 2,000 veterans in Utah. We are the United States of America. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we decide to work together to get it done. We never fail when we do that, never on any major issue. Following his address, the president met with and shook hands with veterans in the audience. Later today, he moves to Park City for a campaign event, after which he will fly back to Washington, D.C. Reporting for Universe Live in Salt Lake City, I'm Sydney Merrill.